like women, I want you. I don't give a fuck about what those other men are doing. Whether they're in jail, selling crack, or dating white women. The fact of the matter is, I want you. But in order to have you, in order for this relationship to work, there has to be some things that I have to say to you. There's some things that you have to understand. So the first thing I want you to do is cut that fucking cell phone off. I don't want this conversation to be interrupted. I need eye contact. I need you to show me some attention. I want you to be alert and listen clearly to what I have to say. I don't want you walking in one room and going to the next and the next and the next. I don't want you huffing and puffing and sucking your teeth and all the rest of that shit. I need you to be attentive. I need full attention from you. Let's begin. The arguing we have to stop. We are two people that love one another. That care for one another. That wants the best from one another. And communication is a major key. If you can't communicate with one another, then there's no point of being able to relate or have a relationship with one another. We have to learn to respect one another. You have to learn that a relationship is not ownership. The fact is, you don't own me. Because ownership means control. And there's no way you can control a man because a man is a lion. No way. Possible. We have to focus on taking our relationship to the next level. Letting one another know the things that we have a problem with. Such as stagnation, being complacent and comfortable, settling for less. I have seen you drive that car. I have seen the house that you live in. I have seen the job that you work at and you're content. You're satisfied. You may bitch and complain every now and then about how you want your own business. How you don't want to work for the white man. How you're tired of working and gradually taking steps up. How you want to get a grasp of your, of your life. But I never see you put in the work to do it. I'm here for you. I back you 100%. But you need to be here for me as well. I need your support as well. Whatever type of things that I want to do. You have to understand it and you have to embrace it. Push me, motivate me as I do the same for you. Let's live out our dreams together. 
and then pass our dreams over to our children and our children's children. When we talk about our relationship, you can't say, this is how you make me feel. This is how you treat me. It can't be one-sided. I have feelings too. There are things that you do or it's a way that you treat me that I dislike. I hate it when you don't admit when you're wrong. I hate it when you think you know every fucking thing. I hate it when you think that I'm supposed to read your fucking mind. know what the fuck is wrong with you unless you tell me I hate it when you play these fucking games with me stop being immature let's be adults we all have a past I have a past and you have a past we all have been used and abused but please, within dealing with our relationship, within dealing with the family that we're trying to establish, keep your family issues out of it. Just because your mother doesn't accept you or your father doesn't accept you or they don't want to love you the way you want them to love you to kill that you have to let it go you can't force people to love you the way you want them to love you you can't so you have to leave those family fucking problems and issues behind when you need some advice about your relationship was me. I'm in the relationship, not your fucking girlfriend or your family members, especially the ones that ain't got a motherfucking man, because that doesn't even make sense. It just doesn't. Well, you giving all this good motherfucking advice? <laughs> well, why the fuck you ain't got no motherfucking man? It doesn't make sense. And when we argue and you bring up what your ex used to do, how your ex treated you. That shit bothers me so fucking much because it's like, if he was this great motherfucking man, why the fuck is he your ex? I'm trying to understand that shit. And the crazy thing to me is this. If you want me to be real, if you want me to be this man that doesn't go out and cheat and do this and do that, then I want you to be real. I want you to take that weave out of your hair. I want you to take that nail polish off your nails. I want you to take that pounds of foundation that you got on your motherfucking face off. I want you to be who you are, which is a strong black woman without the accessories. I want that 1990 ass. I want it all real, if you want me to be real. I accept you for who and what you are. The world may not, but I do. I want to love you. I want to love you like the first time I met you. But I can't love you like the first time I met you if the first time I met you, you were intact. And now you done fucked around and fell off. If you gain weight, hey, 
Me and you, we need to work it out. Do some jumping jacks and shit. Some pull-ups. Some sit-ups to get that fucking weight down. If your self-esteem is low, we need to build it up. Or build it back up. If your pride is getting the best of you, because you see all the rest of your motherfucking people, family members, and friends doing good, and you think, you know what? I'm not gonna do that and this and that in order to attain or get what the fuck I want because that's beneath me. You better let that shit fucking go. Cause your pride will kill you thinking like that. Let's build together. Let's form a unit that cannot be fucking broken by no one. And when we do this, the world will be scared of us. Because I will protect you. And it's, if there's anything that you want, I will provide. I will conquer our enemies. Because I live through you and for you. As you grow, have no choice but to grow. You are the genesis, the beginning of everything. You are the alpha. I love you. And there's nothing or no one that I want besides you.